This video is on common logarithms, natural logarithms, and change of base. So we're going to look at um, each of those things in this lecture video. The first thing that we're going to talk about is um, computing some common logs on your calculators. And so a common log is a log base 10. And so um, there are two special logs that we have. The common log, which has a base of 10. And we also have the natural log, which has a base e. And we'll talk about that one a little bit later on. And your calculator also has two log buttons on it. It has the log base 10. And when um, a lot of people write log base 10, they just write log with no base. Um, and so anytime you see just LOG, it means that it's base 10. And you should have a log button on your calculator. And it will depend on what type of calculator as to where that will be. Um, so the calculator I have that I'm going to be using is um, a scientific calculator. And so mine is right underneath my second key. Um, and that's where I find my LOG button. So in our first example, we have log of 10. And so really, this is exactly the same as log base 10 of 10. And so this one, you don't even need a calculator for. You can evaluate this one um, without the use of a calculator. Remember, to evaluate a log, you ask yourself, what power can I raise this base to? And the base of this log happens to be 10. So what power can I raise the base to so that I get um, the thing you're taking the log of, which is 10? And the answer there is 1. And so this log t of 10 is 1. The next one is log of 23.1. And so this you'll have to put into your calculator. And again, uh, most calculators, you will push your log button first. And then you will type in the 23.1. And when you type in log of 23.1, um, you should get 1.3636. And then there are a bunch of other numbers after that. Right after the last 6, there's a 1. And so we would round to the 6. Our next example is log of 45,600. So again, push the log button on your calculator and then type in the 45,600. And what I get from typing that in is 4.65. 8, 9, 6. We want to round to four decimal places. So I want to round to this decimal place right here. And the number that's immediately following the 9 is a 6. And if it's a 5 or larger, then you want to round this up to the next number. Rounding that up, however, means rounding it up to a 10, which would make this, instead of 89, 90. So rounding to four decimal places would give us 4.6590. In our last example, we have log of 0 0.369. So again, you're pushing the LOG button on your calculator. And if you type in 0 0.369 and hit your Enter key, I get negative 0 0.43. 29736, and then a bunch of other numbers. We want four decimal places. So again, we want to round this 9. That's the position that we're rounding to. And immediately following it is a 7. And because 7 is bigger than 5, or 5 or bigger, we want to round this 9 up, which means rounding that to, 20, or to 30 instead of a 9. So it would be negative 0 0.4330. In our next examples, we're going to find the exact values. And so again, remember that LOG without a base means we really have a base of 10 there. And so our first example is log of 1,000. And you can um, just type this into your calculator. It will spit out the answer for you. But we want to know what power can I raise this base to 10 so that we get the number we're taking the log of, 1,000. 
And so the answer there is 3. 10 raised to the third is equal to 1,000. Okay. And our next one, log of 1 over 100. So again, this is really log of base 10 of 1 over 100. And so I want to know what power can I raise my base to 10 so that I get the thing I'm taking the log of, which, which is 1 over 100. So again, the way that we're going to get this 10 down into the denominator is raising it to a negative power. And then you just need to think about what power do I raise 10 to to get 100? And the answer is 10 squared equals 100. So that would mean that 10 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 100. And so the answer to this is that um, log of 1 over 100 is negative 2. Here we have log of 0 0.001, or if you say this out, this would be in the thousands position. So this is exactly the same as log of 1 over 1,000. And again, it's log base 10 of 1 over 1,000. And so we want to know what power can I raise this base to? so that I get 1 over 1,000? Well, it's going to have to be negative, because that's how you get it to be 1 over. And then 10 is 1, or 1,000 is 10 cubed. So this would be a negative 3. And then the last one of these, we have log of the cube root of 10. So again, this is log base 10, because there's no base here. And cube root of 10, we could rewrite as 10 to the 1 third power. And so the answer here is 1 third. So the power that you would have to raise this base to to get 10 raised to the 1 third is 1 third. Now we want to use a calculator to, to approximate each of the natural logs. And so a natural log we denote with an ln. And this is exactly the same as an log log with a base of e. And if you've never seen e before, e um, raised to the first power, just e, is approximately um, 2.72, I believe it is. Yep, it's 2.718281828, and it keeps on going forever. But we round it to um, two decimal places is going to be good enough for us. So e is approximately this number. You can think of it as kind of like pi. So pi, most people know, is 3.14. It's very similar to that, and it's just a number. And again, this natural log is really an LOG log, but it has a base e. And we have just have a special notation for this because it's very, very commonly used. And also the common log is base 10. So those are the two important things that you have to remember. When you see ln, it's log base e. If you just see log without a base, that's really log base 10. So in our first example, we have the natural log of e. And so really, this is exactly the same as if we were to have log with a base e of e. So evaluating this log, we would say, well, what power can I raise this base to so that I get the thing I'm taking the log of? Well, the answer there is 1. And so the ln of e is equal to 1. The rest of these are all using your calculator. And just like you have an LOG button, you also have an, an ln button on your calculator. And it will look just like this, basically. And mine is right underneath my LOG button. And so you push the LN button on your calculator, and then type in 9.82. And you should get 2.28442. And so again, we want four decimal places. This number is smaller than 5, and so we leave this 4 alone. So the final answer would be 2.2844. Our next example is a natural log of 132,000. So type in the LN, push the LN button on your calculator, and 132,000. 
and you should get 11.7905572, and it goes on off your calculator. We want four decimal places, so here's the position I want to round to. The number immediately following it is a five. The rule is that if it's five or bigger, you round this digit up. So we would want to give 11.7906 as our final answer. And our last one of these is the natural log of 0.015. So again, push the natural log button on your calculator and then type in 0.015. And when you hit enter, we get negative 4.199705 and it goes on more. And we want four decimal places, which is the seven position. The number immediately following it is a zero, and so we're just going to leave that seven alone. And our final answer then will be negative 4.1997. Now we're going to find the exact value of a bunch of natural logs. So again, remember, natural log is a log base e. So this first one, um, natural log of e cubed, is really the same as log base e of e cubed. So we want to know what power can I raise this base to so that I get e to the third? And the answer is 3. Natural log of the sixth root of e, so again, remember, it's log base e. And you can rewrite e to the, the, the cube, or the sixth root of e as e raised to the one sixth. And so we would say, well, what power can I raise this e to, this base of this log, so that I get the thing I'm taking the log of? And our answer for this time would be 1 sixth. Our next one here, natural log of e raised the 2.1. Again, remember this is really log base e of e raised to the 2.1. And so what power can you raise this e to so that you get what you're taking the log of? e raised to the 2.1, and the answer is 2.1. And our last one, natural log of e. So again, this is really just log base e of 1. And so we want to know what power can we raise this e to so that we get 1. And the log of 1, doesn't matter what your base is, is actually always 0. 0, um, anything raised to the 0 power is always equal to 1. The change of base formula is the following. We have log base b of a is equal to the log of a divided by the log of b. And you can use a common log or a natural log. Um, and the formula is the same. Or you could use the natural log of a divided by the natural log of b. So it's always the log of what you're taking the log of and divided by the log of the base. And again, you just need to either use the common log or the natural log. It's one of the logs on your calculators. Okay, so let's look at a couple of these. So again, it's going to be the log of whatever you're taking the log of, and we'll do it both ways. So it's going to be log of 6 divided by log of 3. And so um, you just have to be careful when you're doing this on your calculators um, so that you actually have this whole log in your denominator. So um, push the log button on your calculator and then type in a 6. And I always hit the Enter key so that I know that I have the log of 6 in my calculator. And so right now in my calculator I have 0 0.778 and then some other numbers. And then hit the division symbol on your calculator and then an open parenthesis. And I always put these in parentheses just to ensure that I'm doing the right calculation. And then type in log of 3. And you're actually going to have to close off two sets of parentheses here. So because when you push your LOG button, it will automatically bring up a parenthesis. And you should have a parenthesis before your log as well. So you're going to have to type in the parenthesis key the LOG button that will bring up this other parenthesis, and then you want to make sure you close both of them off before you hit your Enter key. And when we hit Enter, we get 1.6309. And then after the 9, there's a 2. So we're going to leave the 9 as a 9. 
Okay, so you could also do this using the natural log. Um, so we could do natural log of 6 divided by the natural log of 3, and you should come up with exactly the same um, number in the end. So type in natural log of 6, hit enter. I get 1.7917, a bunch of other numbers. And then I want to hit the division key to divide. And then in parentheses, I'm going to type in ln of 3. And again, when you type in the ln key, I should put that parenthesis in there because it automatically comes up. So at the end, you'll need two parentheses then. Hit your Enter key, and again, you should get the, exactly the same thing that we got before, 1.6309. Our next example, log base 5 of 9. So again, use whichever log you want. It doesn't matter which one you do, but this would be log of 9 divided by log of 5. And so type in log of 9. I get 0 0.954, a bunch of stuff. And then we're going to divide by log of 5. And so you, for the division or the fraction bar, we're gonna, you're going to type in the division key. And then in parentheses, type in um, log of 5. And we get 1.365. Two, and then the number after the 2 is a 1, so we'll keep the 2 a 2. And again, you can do this with natural log. Um, if you want, you just need to make sure that you use the same log for both the numerator and the denominator. In example C, we'll use natural logs for this one, so it would be natural log of 1 third divided by natural log of 6. So hit your natural log key, and then we want to do 1 divided by 3. So you actually want to type in 1 divided by 3 for this. And then when we hit Enter, I get negative 1.0986, and then a bunch of other numbers. And then we want to divide that by the natural log of 6. And you want to have it typed in just like that. And so the final answer then would be negative 0 0.6131. And the number after the 1 is a 4, so we're going to leave the 1 alone. And the last one we'll do as a natural log as well. So we have log base 1 half of 3. So that would be natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 1 half. And so when we do the natural log of 3, we get 1.0986 and a bunch of other numbers. And then we're going to hit divided by. And don't round this at all. Just leave this number right in your calculator. Hit the division key. And then in parentheses, put the natural log of 1 half. So our final answer here is negative 1.584. And then we have 9, 6. So again, we want four decimal places, so I need to round the, to the, where this 9 is. The number immediately following is a 6, so we want to round that to 1, negative 1.5850. And that ends our lecture on um, common logs, natural logs, and change of base. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.